Hi, Tien. So today I'm here with my cousin. Okay. So today we are going to talk about uh, growing up Filipino Chinese. So if you guys didn't know, we are Filipino. We are born and raised here in the Philippines. But I am half Chinese and she is pure, pure Chinese. It's not pure. Like full. Our dads siblings. are siblings. Yeah, and they are Chinese. My mom is Filipino. Her mom is Chinese. But we live here in the Philippines. So we are going to talk about our experiences growing up as Filipino Chinese. Chinois? Yeah, Chinois. We have our own community. The first one is language shifting. Like, this switch switch lang. What is that? I'm going to switch. I'm going so that is an example of language shifting. <laughs> okay, next is culture halo halo. <laughs> a mix of all the cultures. Yeah, it's a mix of both Filipino culture and Chinese culture. We basically don't we get confused sometimes if this is Filipino, Filipino culture or this is Chinese. Chinese culture. Like for example, eating noodles for long life. Diba? Hindi mo alam kung kanino yun eh. Pero Asian. Like asian -y. siya. Asia. Yon. Tapos, pag New Year, pag magbabang ka nung papaputok ka and yung kain 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 yung kaldero para mo. Para lumabas yung bad spirits. Okay, so next no? is, we went to a Filipino ah. Chinese school when we were in, basically, since Babies. Babies to high school. So in the morning, they teach us the all English, the basic English, English subjects. You know, math, science. Yes. And then in the afternoon, we have Chinese English subjects class. like Chinese history, Chinese language, Chinese reading. We also have Chinese math. But it depends on the school. Like her school, the school that she went to doesn't have Chinese math. But the school that I went to has Chinese math. Now the difference between both English math and Chinese math is Chinese math is in Chinese. Okay, the next one is don't dishonor the family name. Isipin mo yung pangalan natin. Oh, parang oh oh, tato tato. Parang wag mo gamitin yung pangalan mo. Parang hindi siya yung mapagilitan, hindi siya yung cause some trouble. Because mm, for example, sa family namin, pag isa sa cousins gusto mag nare. Uwi na basta yun nuntay ng sine. Ayaw ni mga parents namin na. Ang Ay, anak nila, o o yung magsabi nung itara, basa kasi baka isipin nila na ah, bakat pa si Muno. O o bakat pa si Muno, ganun, which is which for me is barang why? Kung walang mo gaya, walang mo gaya. Diba? Exactly. Wearing red during birthdays. That is true. We wear red every birthday, lalo na if it's an elderly's birthday, like birthday ni Amers. Next one is family business. Yes, it's it may be cliche, but we have our own family business. Pag ina ask ka, ano siya sabi mo family business natin? Manufacturing, bathtubs okay. and stuff. Ako tanke. Meron yun water tank. Next is multiplying in Chinese. Di it di 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 si di sala di si pwe di go to di lak. The left of the the tip of C D put the block the go the put the sing the the the. That's until nine yun. Yes. Yeah, but it ng mom ko sa kan every day before. Sa kan di man. Bought last names or legal last names. The surnames that we have now that are on paper that are on documents on our passports is not our real surname. It was bought by by ako. My dad said before. Uh, yung China, diba? Communist country. They went to the Philippines to escape. Pero yung time na yon, pag nalaman ng government na Chinese ka, ipapadeport ka nila back to China. So, ang ginawa nila, bumibili sila ng Filipino sounding last names para yun yung gamitin nila as their names nila para hindi sila pa. Pero Chinese pa rin considered na. Sila. Kaya yung ibang tao, diba Chinese sila, pero yung apelido nila, Benavides, Santos, ganyan, because they bought it. My friend ako, tatlo silang magkakapatid. Iba-iba yung last name. Oo. Ganon. Next is 
very very cheap cheap which is true i agree to that i'm also very very cheap cheap dapat sulit if we may uh -oh. sulit no boyfriend until marriage ni naman un until marriage until you graduate okay. exaggerated lang yun <laughs> sinasabi nila na until you graduate pero pag graduate mo sasabi nila na until makahanap ka ng trabaho a decent Tapos, job pag nakahanap na ng job until... sabi nila maging stable ka muna oh. basta they delay it next is Chinese food. Hakao. Tapos sa Chinese food, sa Chinese restaurants, if we go out, a round table in the bar. One round table is reserved for, for the, the adults. adults, like our parents, and the other table is reserved for us, the kids and the cousins. So that's always been the thing. Ang bao, ang bao is life. Pick your mga ninang and ninong ng anak mo wisely. Yung alam mong magbibigay. Generous. Stop sa baby mo in the future. Okay, and this is what I wrote. The thing where news <laughs> spreads in the family so fast and they make it a really big deal and it's not supposed to be a big deal and everyone's just up your nose and they will give you advice and force you that their opinion is right and... Yeah, close-mindedness! <laughs> yeah! Close! <laughs> I don't know in other Chinese families, families but in our family... <gasps> are adults. Na sila. They're gonna say na I know better than you because I've experienced that. I went through that. I'm mm -hmm. older. Basta yung ganon. It's parang yung sinabi ng dad mo yung parang mali ang gusto mo yung ginunan ka. Kasi perfect gusto ko balik siya. Dapat and hindi siya yung dapat. An example of issues. issue spreading is for example, etong si Keisha. Sa Instagram niya, there is a picture of her and a guy. May picture sila ng guy friend niya. And yung isang aunt, auntie namin, nakita niya sa Instagram yung picture na yun. Tapos nakita niya sa Instagram na, oh, magkasama, may kasama si Keisha na guy. And then, bigla na lang, the night, the night yung kumakain, bigla na lang nag-spread sa lahat na, oh, Keisha, si Keisha may ganitong lalaki. May boyfriend na ba si Keisha? Parang in-exaggerate na lang. Oh, maka, may boyfriend na si Keisha? Nakita ko sa Instagram, may picture sila together. Ganyan, ganyan. Kahit na hindi naman sila dating and at that time, kahit na hindi naman sila at that, hindi naman sila <laughs> dating at that time. Guy, friends lang sila at that time. The most issueable issue there is in the Filipino Chinese community, the Great Wall. Dun, 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 dun. Care to explain? Basically, the Great Wall means that if you're a Chinese girl or guy, you can only marry a Chinese girl or guy. You can't go beyond the, the Great Chinese. Wall. Oh, the Great Wall. You can't go beyond the Great Wall. Family. Mostly on girls. Like, if you're a girl, they're gonna say, This is the The Great Wall doesn't really apply to everyone. It depends on the family. My dad told me he would disown me. Is that true? In casual conversations, I mentioned ko na what if my Filipino boyfriend ako ganyan ganyan. Parang sa yung reply niya usually is parang do this own na kita cut off na mga ganon. And syempre kasi wino war na nila ako. Ug na entertain yung mga Filipino sa Manila. Parang mag first move palang cut off na or sabi na friend or sabi na Chinese ka lang yung gusto ng parents ko. Siguro in isip nila na yung tradition. But I'm not saying na tama sila pero yung boy tumi nila. It's kind of <laughs> so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys like it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye!